Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it's happened again, and this is not the first time where Microsoft now has confirmed yet another issue regarding BitLocker problems after installing the October 2025 security updates for Windows 11 and Windows 10. So if we head to update history, that would be this update for Windows 11. 25H2, KB5066835, and for 24H2, it's exactly the same update. And if you're running Windows 10 version 22H2, that would be update KB5066791, which was the final Patch Tuesday security update, because according to Microsoft, Windows 10 is no longer supported. So those are the updates, apparently, where this issue started arising. Now, Microsoft has this officially to say, saying after installing Windows updates released, as mentioned, on that date, some devices might encounter issues during restart or startup. Now, according to Microsoft, the issue is mainly affecting Intel-based PCs with modern standby, which, in case you're unaware, is a low power mode that enables background activity when in sleep. And this, I think, is affecting mainly enterprise environments, but nonetheless, just to keep you posted like we like to do on the channel. Now, according to Microsoft, it doesn't seem that any data is getting corrupted. The only problem is, obviously, you would need access to your BitLocker key once again. With Microsoft saying that you can solve the issue by entering your BitLocker key, and after that, your computer should boot normally. Is obviously with BitLocker, you get locked out of your computer and without that key, you can't get in. And we've covered this before on the channel. This is not the first time where BitLocker issues have been causing headaches after installing updates. Now, Microsoft says it's already working on fixing the issue. And if you are an IT admin, because I think this is mainly affecting enterprise environments, you can undo the changes and the issue by applying the known issue rollback group policies. And just on a side note, before we finish this video, if you'd like to see if you have BitLocker enabled on your device, on Windows 11, you would just head into your settings, system, storage, click on advanced storage settings, head to disks and volumes, and you click on properties of your drive, and yeah, you'll see, this is my main C drive, which Windows is installed on. And yeah, at the bottom, if you do have BitLocker, it'll say BitLocker and it'll say status encrypted. Now you can see I don't have BitLocker because BitLocker is not enabled by default on Windows 11 Home, which I'm running on this device. So as an example, if you're running Windows 11 Pro, then you'll see your status and you can see if it's encrypted or not. So that's just a quick side note on how to check that out if that would be of interest. So it's happened again. Microsoft has confirmed BitLocker issues after installing those October security updates. And if I get any more information, obviously I'll keep you guys posted. And I certainly hope that Microsoft starts getting the its act together because BitLocker obviously encrypts your device. And it's quite an important part of um, your data security. So this isn't the first time this has happened. So I really think Microsoft needs to get into gear now and start sorting these BitLocker issues out once and for all. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.